All right. Well, it looks like we've got a box from Dallas and Trish in Tennessee. Archie with us, Jake. That's right. Those look nice. Yeah. They they fit too. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, they got enough room. Wow. That's good. They're pretty. Thank you, Dallas and Trish. <laughs> oh, these are plantain chips. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> have you ever had those before? I have. They're good. They're really good. This saves you. But... You want to try some? Sure. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had plantain chips. They're yummy. It's good. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yep. Where's your strong? Where's your strong? Mmm. Dates. It's the perfect time to do this. <laughs> it is the perfect time. We just ate lunch, so. Dates for dessert. Want some dates? Sure. Them. They're sweet like candy, but no sugar. Mm. Oh, and we got some oatmeal. Like oatmeal packets. Okay. Mm. Um, there's no name with this, so whoever you are, thank you very much. Oh, it's uh, another bowl. Yeah, these are so useful. We pick up uh, kale greens and turnip greens. And uh, if you get caught out in a rainstorm, <laughs> you can keep your head dry. <laughs> Thank you for the bowl. We definitely use those bowls. Yeah, making bread, washing potatoes. Yes. Yeah, they're so nice. This one is from the Holbrook family in Ragdale, England. Wow. It made quite a trip across the pond. This is, it looks like a Fiskars, but it's different. Magus, Magnuson. Hmm. I remember seeing that, uh, that name before, but it, it feels like it would really fit in your hand, really work. Nice. Useful, yes. Ooh, nice. This is a sharpening stone. It's a diamond stone, mm. so you don't have to use water with it. Cotton handkerchiefs. Oh. 
That'd definitely be a good thing to have in your wilderness survival pack. If you had to. You can also surrender if you need to. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And, yeah, if someone had a wound, you could wrap up the wound or make a tourniquet. Yeah, definitely useful. Olive oil. That looks fancy. What's the brand? Uh, Filippo Berri Berrio Rustico. From, from where? What country? It's Italian. Produced with extra virgin olive oils from Greece, Italy, Portugal, and Spain. Wow. That's a good name. I've seen yeah, it. Yeah. Wow. Cool it's, bottle, too. It's a pretty yeah. bottle. That's, that's a gift set up right there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. How thoughtful. Very nice. That will definitely be good on our turnip greens or kale greens. Lots of little bottles. Nice. Looks like one of them broke, but there's corks for them. And, uh, just that we could make some tinctures nice. have bottles for that okay. another most of them made it across the trip across the pond thank you Holbrook family I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly I probably mispronouncing it but um, when I was young wow. I had a homeschool teacher from and she lived in the States for many years but uh, her name was Jillian Bethel and I always liked to listen to her accent that British accent Yes, yeah, yeah definitely. Like we it. could always use a bucket. Yes. Okay, more permanent black markers. Oh. Okay. And, uh, dried blueberries. Mm, those are good. Yeah. Sometimes we cook oatmeal and put them in with the oatmeal. Mm. Thank you. This is from Kathy Walters. Thank you, Kathy. Mm. It's very kind of you. Yes, we can definitely use those. This is a heavy one. I don't know what it is. Mm. don't have any idea. Oh, wow. Okay. More lighters. Whoa. Oh, wow. 50 here. Neat. And 50 here. Wow. You've got lighters for, I mean, how many years? <laughs> That's wonderful. And for teaching classes. Yeah. One of these days I want to do a wilderness survival class and get a group together and say, here's a lighter. You don't, you can't bring any cardboard from the house. Uh, here's a knife. Here's a lighter, see how soon you can have your fire bill and see, let people sharpen their skills on fire building. I don't know who sent these, so whoever you are, thank you very much. Candy Factory Vanilla Mini Dehydrated Marshmallows. Wow, that's so kind of you to send this, but I don't eat marshmallows. I've never had any fillings 
and I don't have any toothaches now, and I'm trying to keep it that way by staying away from all sugar. But thank you so much for the kind thought. <clears throat> God bless you and yours. Careful on storage. The young Christians will eat these by the handfuls if they find them. Hmm. From saved by your message. Hmm. Wow, that's so kind of you. Strong's Concordance. Cool. Nice. Yes. Strong's. Yeah, Strong's is a blessing. You, if, sometimes I don't remember the reference for something, but I remember a phrase or a key word. You can look up the key word and find the reference. Oh. like Jeremiah has two of these now. Yep. They can put that to use too. Mm -hmm. One for each hand. You know? Roller skates. I remember kneeling in those when I was little. Rolling across the floor. It doesn't say who this is from. So, uh, whoever sent this for Jeremiah, thank you. Yes, thank you. Jeremiah can't be here right now, but um, we're looking forward to when the Lord opens the way for them to be able to come back. Um, devotional, lift him up. And those are some amazing phone packages. I guess if you would get if you get mad and you need to punch something, you could put these on. Yeah. And you could just like punch them. Punch something real hard and it slide, wouldn't hurt slide so much. Un under your under your sleeves <laughs> and build some biceps. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> I've never seen anything in the package like this before. This, I mean if if you <laughs> There's some cushion there. Yeah, there is. Hmm. Well, rather than taking out your anger by punching something, give your anger over to the Lord Jesus Christ. If you've got an anger problem, get down on your knees and say, Father in heaven, I'm asking you in the name of Jesus, your son, to take this anger out of my heart. He'll take that anger out and he'll give you peace give you calmness and then you won't feel a need to go punch something or someone is one of the old ones bible readings for the home circle mm -hmm. this is very good copyright 1888 wow this is an old one well it says um review and herald publishing house battle creek michigan chicago illinois toronto canada 1889 wow. and the copyright is 1888 wow so, um, one thing that's nice about this book is it just asks a question and then it will give a Bible verse to answer the question <clears throat> for instance um, there's a question in here 
how will one show that he has truly repented? And Jesus said in Matthew 3, verse 8, Bring forth, therefore, fruits meet for repentance. Or in other words, fruits that are fitting for repentance. Then it asks, what does the grace of God teach? And the answer is in Titus chapter 2, verses 11 and 12. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. So the grace of God teaches us to deny ungodliness and worldly lusts. God's grace teaches us to live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Yes, lots of good Bible study in this book. Am I careful with that? Uh, we, yeah, we <laughs> we have two volunteers. They're like, please let me oh, look this, at that. Oh, this is that old. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Wow. That's some history right there. Okay, what are we going to guess? I'm guessing... Cat cat. That's what I think, too. Oh, yeah. We'll go dog food. This is a country. <laughs> Cat food. Cat chow. <laughs> Smokey, they sent you some cat food. Yeah. Put the okay. microphone on Smokey. Archie wants some. <laughs> Smokey approved. Smokey Archie. is Rachel's cat, and he eats very well. <laughs> He's a special cat. He's very affectionate, but he can tell you rough, too. Mm, Smokey is an answer to prayer. He went missing for 10 days, and Rachel said, let's pray for Smokey that he'll come back. And then uh, he, was, he showed up over at a neighbor's house after being missing in action for 10 days. Mm -hmm. Okay, Smokey. Let's put some in your dish. Wow. Wow. Archie, it looks like they sent you some all the food. No name with this, so uh, whoever sent it, if the dogs could speak English, Jake and Archie and Chloe and Spartacus and Autumn, they would say, thank you. We were trying to guess what this tool was, and I thought it was like maybe a multi-tool of some kind. Flyer cutties. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. In cutting pliers or a na nail puller. Oh. So it's not wire cutters. Well, you can cut wire with it. Okay. Or nails. You can pull nails with it. And then. Hard to break? Oh, the same one I have, actually. It's heavy duty. Yes. Yeah. 
cut. Yeah, that's pretty handy. You can clip it on nice. to your side or to your belt, and then you're ready to cut some uh, wire or some nails. We needed some short nails for the outhouse we were nailing some slats on, and I have some nail nippers for horseshoeing that are similar to this, and we were using them to cut the nails shorter. Yes. Those are pretty. They are. Yes. Let's see. Hi, Titus. These snips are very versatile for farming or construction. Sent you all some OXO stock cubes too in a separate order, March delivery, for traditional Irish farm stews. Hmm. Boil in water with whole onion with vegetables hmm. from Howe and Nina. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are well supplied with tools. This is um, the greatest story ever told. It's a story about Jesus. And it doesn't say who it's from. Thank you. Here's another book, The Babylon Connection, by Ralph Woodrow. Okay. Oh, more books for the library. Okay, it looks like we've got some books for the children. Illustrations. Yes. Yeah, it looks like some storybooks. Um, starting uh, story of John the Baptist and how he was born, and some stories of Jesus and miracles. Yes. A uh, gift from Maria Lancaster. Thank you, Maria. Yes. To Henson Creek House of Prayer Children's Ministry. Yes. All right. Thank you, Maria. We can use those. Oh, 
here are some labels. Nice. That is really nice. Oh, handy. Very thoughtful. Titus Morris, Minister of the Gospel. Yeah, that'll be faster than writing my return address. Yes. Titus Morris, Minister of the Gospel. 142 Henson Creek Road, Liberty, Kentucky. That will save me a lot of time. Or I should say save us a lot of times because sometimes I set the volunteers to writing out on the envelopes and that can take some time. Oh, is that from Ted? Oh, this is probably for you, Stephanie. Cool. Let me check here. Oh, it does have your name on it. I, I didn't look carefully enough. All right. Thank you, Ted. <laughs> yes, thank you, Ted, for watching out for Stephanie. That's really kind of you. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what it is, but I really don't know. Dried figs. Mm. Oh. Yummy. More dried figs. This was inspired by our sunlight lesson. Oh, <laughs> yes, we were studying about figs. Thank you, Brother Titus, and those who support you for your service to the Lord God Almighty. May, you, may he bless you greatly. Enjoy your gift from In Jesus' Name with Joy, Sister Layla. Thank you, Layla. So thoughtful of you. Yes, figs are a real treat. Oh, that feels like some books. story ever told and there's one right here the same book uh, and then the greatest faith ever known okay and then this one here looks like uh, stories of those who spread the gospel like and like the those in the time of Acts, in the book of Acts, Peter and John and Paul and during that time. Okay. <clears throat> okay, some canning lids with rings. We can use those. And then King James Version. New Testaments. Mm. I hope you can use these to preserve your wonderful vegetables for the winter. From Mary Beth Osbrooks. Thank you, Mary Beth. I hope 25 new souls are saved with these New Testament Bibles. God bless you. From, from Mary Beth. Archie is, uh, loves to go after the cat. I don't think he'll hurt her. 
Yeah. I hope you can have a sore nose. Yeah. All right. Smokey knows how to defend himself. <laughs> okay. Oh, bucket list. Very nice. jars thank you Richard thank you yes Lord willing we will fill these up with garden produce or applesauce I'd like to share a song with you all that has been really meaningful to me it's called God is my strong salvation God is my strong salvation, what foe have I to fear? In darkness and temptation, my light, my help is near. Though foes encamp around me, firm in the fight I stand. What terror can confound me with God at my right hand? Place on the Lord reliance, my soul with courage wait. His truth be thine affiance when faint and desolate. His might thy heart shall strengthen, His love thy joy increase. Mercy thy day shall lengthen, the Lord will give thee peace. The Lord will give thee peace. Well, let's close this time, unboxing time with prayer. Father in heaven, thank you so much for the generous people that gave these things. Give us the wisdom and the strength that we need to use these gifts wisely. We ask that you would bless those who gave, and many would like to give, but they can't. We ask that you would bless them as well. Uh, we ask for those that are helping here and volunteering, those that are watching as well, all those that are supporting, and all those that are watching, that you bless each one. You would lead us by your spirit that we could all one day be up in your home with you in heaven soon. We ask this in the name of your son, Jesus, Yeshua. Amen.